What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Let's get into the news. The first story of the day is Samsung has officially announced their newest processor that'll come out or at least be starting being manufactured at the end of this year and will most likely be in the Galaxy S10. I don't see why it won't. The Exynos 9820. Now the 9820 is a new processor, like I said, from Samsung and it has a dedicated artificial intelligence core and three CPU clusters. Now let's talk numbers on the improvements that this processor brings over last year's. So it's 20% faster at single threaded tasks, 40% higher power efficiency. The tri-cluster design is allegedly 15% faster at multi-thread tasks, and also the GPU is 40% faster and 35% more efficient than last year's chip. The other thing I noticed big right off the bat was video. You are now able to record 8K at 30 frames per second and 4K at 150 frames per second. That would be amazing if we're able to do that. On the old chip, it was as good as 4K, 120 frames per second. So you can see big advances in video. I'll be amazed if we end up getting 8K video recording on this. That would be pretty sweet. Or even 4K, 150 again would be pretty crazy. That's basically slow motion and 120 frames per second you could end up doing. Now we're not going to see this processor most likely here in America. Samsung has a deal with Qualcomm Snapdragon processors to put them in our phones. So it's not a bad thing. Those phones still perform uh, really, really well with the Snapdragon processor versus the Exynos at this point. So again, don't be too worried about that. But international people, you're definitely getting the Exynos 98 20. And the last story of the day is about the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and Note 9. The November security update is already rolling out to people with Verizon. I personally don't have it. I'm an unlocked version. I haven't heard anybody else on any of the other carriers here in the United States getting this update just yet, but it is the latest software update. And we just got the other update recently, at least a lot of people did, with the camera update to improve performance with the camera. And now already they're pushing out the November security update. Hopefully this continues to roll out to other carriers and the unlocked phones here in America. If you've gotten it on another carrier other than Verizon, let me know in the comments down below. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, new videos every single day. My question now to you guys is, which processor would you rather have if you had the choice? On the Galaxy S10 phone, would you rather get the Exynos 9820 or the Snapdragon 955, I believe what it's gonna be called. Let me know in the comments down below. Ah, it's tough, I obviously I'd wanna see the performance of both. Um, I'd like to get another Exynos processor in. Samsung builds the phone, they build the software. Why not have them build the chip as well? So I'd wanna go all in with that and see how it performs versus the Snapdragons. Thanks for watching, we'll see you down the road. Peace!